Hello and welcome to Great Bircham and Summer Cottage. There's a really good reason that I wanted to do a film about this house because actually from the front it looks like a tiny cottage but it's anything but. Let's go and have a look. Another reason for showing you this property is that on a floor plan that will look like your front door. No one likes coming straight into the drawing room through a front door. But of course, given where the parking is, round the back and the side, you're never gonna come in through there, you'll come in through the house. So actually, this is a standalone room in itself. So from the beautiful bean drawing room at the front, we're through here, which is the oldest part of the house, dating back over 300 years. But you come through into the center of the house and the kitchen breakfast room, which as you can see is anything but. As with cottages that have evolved over the centuries, the space has been really utilized in this kitchen to maximize it. All I particularly love is that breakfast bar. Sit there, watch the garden, watch the birds. It's a really lovely place to enjoy your morning cup of coffee. And then really continuing with the new, because this is an extension onto the old part of the house. You have this, the family room. It's also the dining room. It's a seating room. So there's a great fireplace behind. It's got French doors out. It's a room that you will use all year round. And then finally, on the ground floor, I want to show you one more room. There's a good reason for that, because currently this room is arranged as a study, but clearly from its proportions and the fact that we've just walked past the downstairs shower room, this would make a perfect downstairs bedroom suite. So often with cottages of this period, you've got to navigate a really tight winding staircase. Not the case here. And also upstairs, generally even short people like me have to stoop down, but look at the ceiling height up here. Created by the current owners to go over the top of that family room at the back, you've got this, a walk through dressing room, an ensuite shower, and then you're through into this almost gallery double bedroom with those wonderful views out over the countryside beyond. So the other reason I wanted to do a film on this property is not just because from the outside and the front it looks so small, but you come out here to the back and the garden is everything to this house. this end of the garden we've got what really amounts to as a small orchard plus we've got this beautiful copper beach and that horse chestnut. Clearly with a garden like this you really do need to be green fingered and actually there's so much facilities and space here that you can almost live off the land. There's a polytunnel, there's also a fruit cage and a workshop as well as tons of graveled off street parking there's a very large garage. Up here is quite a large parcel of ground, which they, behind the fence, have let go back to wild to give space for their chickens, for their eggs. So, it's a good life you're after. There's all the space you need here to create that for yourselves. So I hope that's gone some way to showing you that Summer Cottage is anything but a small property and set in almost an acre of gardens. It is a fabulously located property. If you want to come and have a proper look, and you'll need a little while, then call the number on the screen now and we will be delighted to show you around. See you soon, I hope.